Hi, I am Seth Davidson and I am going to show you around the dairy farm in Eden Valley, Cumbria to give you a greater understanding of where milk comes from and how hard our British farmers work to make it happen. Here we are at the dry cows. When a cow is two months off of calving, they come here for a holiday so they can relax and look after their calf that is due to be born. They move to the maternity ward. I'll head there now. Here we are at the maternity ward. The cows come here two weeks before having a calf. So they can chill out and rest. They have plenty of space so it is more comfortable for them as they get bigger ready for calving. I will head to the bedded cows to show you where they go next. Here we are at the bedded cows. All new calf cows come into here until they are strong enough to enter the main herd. Some and will be in here for a short period of time, some will be here for a longer period of time. The reason they come here is so they don't have as far to walk to the milking parlour, also giving them more room to lay down and rest. Any cows which are unwell also come here to recuperate, as we all know we sometimes need to do their day. I will now head to the main cow shed. So here we are in the main cow shed. This is where the cows that are being milked sleep, eat and drink and spend most of their day. In this shed there are big fans to keep the cows cool as the cows don't like heat over 18 degrees Celsius. The cows lie down on sand beds and every day someone comes to rake the beds. This is out when someone makes your bed. Sand is good for cows, is it? it's more hygienic to keep the cows clean. And as you can see, this cow here is really comfy on her sandbed. In this shed there are big water troughs, three at this end and two at the other end of the shed. Do you know how much water a cow drinks? Well, around 80 to 120 litres a day. So that is around six to eight of these yellow buckets full. These are called locking yolks. They are good because cows will not push other cows out of their feed space. They are also handy for the farmer to be able to handle the cows if they need any attention, making it stress-free and not having to take them away from their friends. So now I will head off to the silage pit where the cow's food is. This is where the cow's food comes from. It can be a mixture of whole crop, silage, treacle and minerals. It is all mixed up in this big tub mixer, which is a bit, which is like mixing a big cake up. It is important that the cows get the right diet, and it has all the nutrient in it, nutrients in it that they need. It is just like a professional athlete won't be able to perform on chips and biscuits all the time. The farmer here feed his cows every morning. Here we are at the milking parlour. You may just think that it is all just about the milking parlour, but if all the other areas aren't right, there wouldn't be any milk produced. So these cows get milk twice a day, every day of the year, no matter what the weather. Each side of the milking parlour has can fit 10 cows down it. And they, each of the cows receive a quantity of cake in the trough so she can eat as she's being milked. The clusters are put onto the udders and draws the milk out which then travels up the pipe, th up the pipe, through these filters here and then goes all the way to the milk silo. I will head there now. Here we are at the milk silo. This is where the milk is stored and is kept cool until it is picked up by the milk tanker. All the foods come and pick the milk up every other day. Then it goes up to Lockerbie and gets made into cheese, yoghurt and pasteurised milk ready for you to enjoy. And I hope you have learnt a bit more about where your milk comes from and how hard the British farmers work to get your milk to your fridge.